All right, what's poppin', everybody? Thanks for checking out the video. It's your boy Ego, and today what we're going to do is we're going to take a cook, cook. We're gonna take a good look at Hinata and Neji, the new Blazing Awakenable units that is out for JP right now. So we got this handsome devil, this man right here. I know they call Lee the handsome devil, but we got this man Neji. You know, Neji's a dope as character like i don't understand what you got a problem with but yo he's really good for a character we're gonna look at these two units and basically break them down and we're going to you know come up with the whole should you summon or not for this manner and obviously a lot of people is gonna go ahead and summon so it's not really it's not really much but i'll just go ahead and go over the characters for you guys so you guys know what's going up what's going down what's good what's good so Let's look at Neji first. All right, let's look at Neji first. I don't know why I'm twisting my turns. I don't know why I'm twisting my tongue, but it's happening. Okay, so I'm sorry. So we're gonna look at the regular Neji real quick. Now I'm blazing awakened Neji. Okay, we're gonna speak about this man right here. All right, so he's a 70 cost body type unit with mid range. HP is at 1248 right down here. 1958 is the strength, and he is like I said, mid range. Okay, so his PVP for non blazing awakened 27,456 health. 3916 strength and he's 146 uh speed he's very very he's pretty strong for a pvp unit um being that he's not blazing awakened all right so for three chakra we got 4.2 times attack in body damage to one enemy in range 70 percent chance of recovery ceiling for two turns and knocks them back okay um we're just we're looking at that right now and then for PvP, Jutsu says 3.2 times attack and body damage to one enemy in range. 70% chance of recovery ceiling for two turns and knocks them back. So basically, it's the same exact thing. No, oh, in, in, in PvP, it does less damage. 3.2 times attack. Alright. And in PvE, it does uh, 4.2 times attack. But it's still 3 chakra cost. Alright, guys. Um, for the ultimate ninjutsu now, for regular ultimate ninjutsu, for PvE, 6 chakra. 9.5 time attack in body damage to one enemy, 90% chance of immobilization for two turns and knocks them back. And then for the ultimate for PvP, 9 times attack towards uh, in body damage to one enemy, knocks them. 90% chance of immobilization for two seconds and knocks them back. So, yo, a lot of people is going to be running Neji, man. I'll see a bunch of Nejis. I'm telling y'all, when Global drops, when Global releases, people are going to be running Neji left and right. So y'all better know that your boy is going to be wailing for this Neji. But we didn't even see Hinata yet. So Hinata must be godly as well, right? Abilities. First one boosts critical rate by two times. Second one boosts HP by 150. Third one boosts critical rate by two times. Boost HP by 150 is the fourth one. And the fifth one reduces damage by uh, taken by 15%. And sync skills are sync with body, boost attack by 100 sync with mid-range reduces chance of, immob of immobilization by 15 percent okay neji's looking pretty freaking decent man just non-blazing awakening pretty pretty d dope man i ain't even gonna lie it's pretty good all right so blazing awaken neji now oh my god wait 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 okay yeah blazing awaken neji now right yeah I'm gonna look at blazing awaken neji now so for him He's 70 cost body range, mid range unit, HP is 1154, strength uh, 1764, and he's mid range, like I said. Uh, field skill reduces chance of being sealed by 25 to 30 percent. Not the, uh, uh, reduce, and then the body is reduces chance of being sealed by 25 percent, not a skill. Okay, I don't know if I said it for the non blazing awaken, the field skill and body skill. Field skill for the but for non blazing awaken, not Neji, reduces chance of being sealed by 30 percent to 35 percent. And then its buddy reduces chance of being sealed by 25%. So basically, you can't seal this mofo, okay? That's regular Neji. Now, Blazing Awaken Neji back again. Can't be sealed as... Yo, this guy can't be sealed either. Oh, my God. All right. So for um, his Jutsus now, right? Wait, let's look at his PvP stats. 32,312 is his HP. Okay. 4,410 is his strength and 183 speed. All right. All right. Okay. I see a lot of speed demons running on above this guy for the okay all right so it's ninjutsu for three chakra for regular pve okay 3.5 times attack and body damage to all enemies in range 40 percent chance to attack reduction of attack reduction for five turns and immobilization for one turn that's pve not pvp okay but this is the pvp neji for his pve jutsus like 
missions, emergency missions, impact missions, whatever, story, whatever. And then his ultimate ninja, uh, let, let me tell you the PvP version, what it says. Uh, for the PvP version, it says 3.8 times attack and body damage to all enemies in range. 70% chance of reducing their speed for 4 turns. Oh my god, Lee, you getting knocked off back. Oh my god. Body unit 2? Oh my god. This is going to be a perfect counter to Lee. My god. Okay. Ultimate Ninjutsu now. 6 Chakra. 9 times attack and body damage to one enemy in range. 90% chance of immobilization for one turn and knocks them back. Oh man, that's beautiful. That's so cute. That's so cute. Oh my god. My gambit. That is beautiful, man. Crack. Voice crack. Ultimate for PvP. 9 time attack in body damage to one enemy. 90% chance of immobilization for one second and knocks them the friggity back. Yo, I'm loving this legend, man. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. Yo, the freaking blur when he comes back. Yo, it's lit. It's nasty. It's insanity. Oh my god. Look at the abilities now. First one, re restores health, restores 250 HP every turn, 500 in PvP, for first and second, third one, 20% chance of erasing chakra consumption of normal jutsu, fourth and fifth one, re it boosts speed by 20, so if you get every single freaking ability my guy, 40, 40 is added on to the speed. 20% chance to not use Jutsu uh, con Chakra for normal Jutsu and then the two first abilities are restoring HP. Neji! Oh my god! Alright. Let's look at Hinata now, okay? Look at Hinata, PT, PT, PT. Alright, so she's Wisdom, 70 cost, long range, HP 1728. It would've been, it would've been, it would've been lit if it was 1738. Hey, all right. Uh, attack is 1016. All right. So for uh, PVP though, 31,104 is the health. 1524 is the strength. 294 is the speed. First Jutsu for four chakra. 8.2 times attack in Wisdom damage to one enemy and knocks them back. Deals 10.2 instead if they are Jutsu sealed. Wow. This is just regular non blazing awakened uh, Hinata. Mmm, mmm, gentle fist, huh? Gentle fist, baby. Let's keep going. All right, for ultimate jutsu now. Uh, twenty point five times attacking wisdom damage to one enemy. Fifty percent chance of jutsu ceiling for five turns and mobilization for one turn. 20.5 Hinata Where have you learned this? She's freaking speedy. She's speedy as well. Oh my god Her abilities first one prolongs the duration of status effect by one turn second one reduces damage from bravery enemies by 15% third one boost HP by 200 Fourth one reduces damage from bravery enemies by 15%. Fifth one reduces chance of being juice of seal being sealed by 20%. Her field skill boosts attack of wisdom units by 150 to 300. Her buddy skill boosts attack of 100 of wisdom units by 300. Oh my god, yo, this Hinata is lit. This Hinata is lit. All right, guys, let's take a look at the PVP Blazing Awakened Hinata. Oh my god, look at the oh. Bro, the card art with Naruto behind her is so cute, man. Let's go. Okay, so she's 70 cost wisdom type, wisdom type long range unit. 1588 is the HP. Strength is 1062. She's long range. Field skill boost attack of of wisdom units by 150 to 300. Body skill boost attack of wisdom units by 300. Her PVP stats now 38,112 is the strength is the health. Pause. 2124 is the strength and her speed is 343 she's a speed demon gotta oh boy gotta is gonna get like gotta is not gonna get any kind of timing anymore man i'm telling you all right first jutsu 
4 chakra, 7 times attack and wisdom damage to one enemy, 80% chance of jutsu ceiling for 2 turns. For PvP, it's 4 chakra, 7 times attack and wisdom damage to one enemy in range, 60% chance of recovery ceiling for 5 turns and or chakra ceiling for 4 turns. So she can do two things, man. It could be both or it can be one or the other. This whole oh, oh my god. Yo, Hinata. Hinata, where did you learn everything, man? What you doing, girl? Hinata must be the strongest chick ever. So if they're doing this based off of the tuning exams, next should be Akiba or next should be a like Eno and Sakura. Oh man. Oh guys, you better be ready. A chakra. Regular ninjutsu, 16.5 times attack and wisdom damage to one enemy, 50% chance of jutsu ceiling for 5 turns and or immobilization for 1 turn. Okay. Alright. Oh man, that's a beauty. That is a true beauty. Her ninja, her ultimate jutsu looks so amazing, man. Like, y'all don't understand. Y'all probably do understand, but y'all don't understand where I'm coming from. For us, oh, PvP. 8 chakra, 22.5 times attack and wisdom damage to one enemy, 50% chance of jutsu ceiling for 4 seconds and or immobilization for 1 second. She does it all, man. She does it all. She does it all, man. She does it all. Oh my god, guys. Y'all don't understand. Her, her sync skills... Her sync skills are... Sync with wisdom reduces damage taken by 10% and then a sync with long range boost attack by 100 Guys, should you summon on this banner or not? Nah? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. These two units are freaking broken. They are broken. They're both broken. I don't know. Okay, I didn't even do her abilities yet. And I just jumped straight into Siri. I was just so happy. Like, so hype. Alright. Uh, first ability boosts Jutsu ceiling, by, Jutsu ceiling rate by 20%. Second one reduces chance of being sealed by 30%. Third one reduces damage taken by 20%. Fourth one reduces chance of being sealed by 30%. Fifth one prolongs the duration of status effect by one turn. I love the card art, man. Like, Hinata's all hurt and stuff. She's holding her, her stomach. And then Naruto's in the background like, believe it. Believe in yourself. You can do this, Hinata. Pushing her through this. Man, that was a memorable, um, like clip from naruto i remember it like it was just yesterday this happened man and this neji bro this neji's art looks really cool too i'm not even gonna lie the card arts man bandai are taking like their time and making these card arts look freaking amazing it's like look at this man look at this look at this neji i mean, neji lee and this gata's uh, card art is amazing too anyways guys that's everything of everything of the new units neji and Hinata, I hope you did enjoy. Summon on this banner. Try to get both of the units. Good luck to you guys. Um, I think it's 380 to summon for both of them, if I'm not mistaken. Here, let me calculate this real quick, you know. Alright, so it's 40, 40, 50, 25, 50, 25, 50, 50, 50. 380, yes, guys. 380 to summon for both. We're doing all nine steps to summon for both of these units, so... Looks like it's time for me to stock up on pearls. It's about time. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And, um, you know, that's it. It's been your boy Ego. One love. Join the Unidentified family today. And it's been your boy Ego. Peace. The f out.